Ah, ok, då ska vi se nu då. Åh, oh, åh, oh, just det. Åh, oh, det är knappt. Ska vi se nu då. Här så. Ah, ok. Amen! Um, all right. Hello there. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh man, it got me. Oh, that got me. All right. All right. I close that. All right. All right. Hello, comrades, and welcome to another episode from the Ludic SMP. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that got me. That got me, Robo. You little rascal. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I think I need a moment. Oh, right. All right, moment has been had. All right, <laughs> man, that scared the living daylight out of me. Anyway, welcome to another episode from Eludic SMP. And I have done some building between the episodes. Not much, granted, not much. Let's put our wings on and let's go down here. And as you can see, I have now enclosed and completely finished the sorting system here. Don't mind the shulkers, they are temporary. And we have everything programmed and ready. Well, I say I say everything programmed and ready, but you know, it's always stuff and things to do, right? So we have a couple of chests that doesn't have been doesn't have haven't been programmed yet and we have this one for arrows and then we have these chests are empty because yeah i don't know what to put in them and then yeah the rest of this is just the non-stackables we have tons and tons of armor and bows mainly armor and bows some swords and tools but mainly armor and bows and of course, sometimes we get these things that I just pick out and saved in this button chest here. So some, you know, some ink sacks and some tri well, one trident, some heads and yeah, stuff like that, that gets somewhere. And well, somehow they get into there as well. But we do have iron. We have, yeah, decent amount. Uh, well, there's a lot of blocks. I've been crafting them to blocks of decent amount. So these two rows here are for iron. And these two rows here are for gunpowder. And then of course we have bones, two double two rows for bones, we have one for rotten flesh. I don't need much of that. And we have then string. And yeah, so yeah some redstone, some glowstone. Oh, let's need some spider. We get a lot of spider eyes. And then bottles, not many bottles, and sugar. And I think this one is copper ingots. I think I'll remove that though, because yeah, I get one every blue moon. And then yeah, the poppies, I could turn them into bone meal, but yeah, why not? I don't know why. Potatoes, they are not all from the farm, obviously. I put them there from the trading. And same with carrots, but we get a few of them as well. And then sticks. Yeah, some sticks. So yeah, and the overall design of this place as well. So the walls, some walls are in. And we have this little sneaky path up here to get up top to check out everything. So it's working. Well, there you go. So we can check all the filters, see if we want to change anything. As you can see there, I just plugged them completely. And a thing that I forgot to do. This this had me head scratching for a bit. These hoppers always unlocked and let the moss through. And I couldn't figure out why until I realized I had comparators here. And when these filled up, yeah, they overpowered the whole row. So everything here <laughs> just got released and yeah, it broke. So now, nothing there, we just had the redstone left, remove the torches and the comparators, so now it works. And here we go, yeah, the trash can over here. Haven't spit anything in there yet, as far as I know, but, uh, well. And the cat is still here. And for some strange reason, the cat keeps moving around. I can leave the cat in there, on this, on this torch. And spending AFK maybe for an hour up there, and when I get back down here to check the, the yeah the chests and stuff, the cat is way over behind my head there, or it's just you know close to the edge. I don't know if the cat moves by itself or if someone is here and just just trying to 
Yeah, play tricks on me. I have no idea. But anyway, anyway, that's enough waffling about this. We will not be much over here this episode, actually. We will be mostly over at the tower because today is the day we put in our item categorizer from Rabin Mad Hatter, the beast of a sorting system that will, yeah, sort almost everything in categories so we will have one column of chest for redstone and in that column of redstone we will have comparators repeaters blocks well redstone blocks torches everything redstone related will be in that one and the next one we will have all the things that's wood for example i mean all the wood types the trap doors the defense gates the yeah everything will be so this will be the yeah <laughs> the build of today's episode and it will be gorgeous hopefully we get time to decorate it as well but otherwise it's just a big redstone mess well i'll say mess you know what i mean sorry hatter don't mean to offend but yeah so that is the plan for today's episode and some other bits and bobs as well but we will have to start with this so let me get my structura file and armor stand ready and we will actually see this in uh, structura blocks for the first time and then we'll start to place down a lot of hoppers and yeah stuff so see you in a bit and here it is well it is a beast and if you would like to have a tutorial on this beast i will leave a link down in the description to Ravin mad harris youtube channel and the video where he shows off this thing and how to build it it's a really good tutorial that is quite easy to follow and it might look very technical and well some parts is and i can't say for sure that i actually understand how everything works some of it yeah i mean hoppers is quite self-explanatory but i will do a slight modification to this build and that is to add another row of chests so we have instead of one two three four five we will have six that is my plan at least so we have a little bit more storage for stuff because you never know when you need it but as you can see there's a lot of hoppers there's droppers there's furnaces and there's a lot of observers obviously and yeah a lot of stuff and i need to collect i think i need to collect more wood actually <laughs> i don't think i have all, all the chests that needed that is a bit embarrassing but yeah this will be so much fun so let's get into it and now we have two slices of the categorizer in place it looks quite majestic in my opinion i must say <laughs> it's a lot of redstone components that's quite cool so that is the main section and that's the attachment and then we'll have another main and then a second attachment and so on and so forth one thing though that i Mm, was mistaken about and that was i thought that one column of chest would be the categorized one but no it's two so you have double the storage so i will have let's say redstone components here all those chests will be filled with redstone components that get sorted it's it's really cool it is really really cool and i can't stress enough go and check out mr mad hatter's <laughs> video about this because it's uh, <laughs> well i haven't tried it yet but um, i trust the guy completely <laughs> he's a wizard when it comes to redstone an engineer you would say so yeah and all these chests up here they are the chest where we put the items we want to filter so that is really nice so right now we have some string that i renamed with blocker that's just because it's easy and i yeah i didn't plan to make that jump apparently all right so but one problem with this build is that i thought i had enough resources but i don't it needs a lot of hoppers that's not really the problem the problem is observers and comparators and i thought i had a lot of it but i don't that's my last com comparator and i have 15 observers left so i need to grind some materials to <laughs> to make more i can't lie the rest is yeah the rest i have the rest is quite good yeah i have enough of the rest probably but yeah those things and they need quartz oh yay i'm so happy yeah i do think we have some quartz over at the starter base though so i will nick some from there but still yeah but i will take a little break from this build at the moment because that took yeah 40 50 minutes to make that part because i had to rewatch the tutorial and yeah just place all the chest and yeah made some boo-boos so let's do something different for a while now 
If you're new here, or you have forgotten, yeah, a couple of episodes ago, we got our beacons stolen. We did a wither fight with the Rickeroy, and we got three beacons as a reward, which was really nice. And just, uh, yeah, a couple of hours later, I found them to be stolen, and we got that little book over there, and apparently we have a head. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why do you have a head? Although that is a desert villager head, I reckon. And I only know one other member here living in a desert, and that is Phipps. Hmm. All right, we should maybe take a trip over at Phipps' place. But before that, if... wait, there's a button up behind there as well. All right, first we have this book at least. So how do I do that? There we go. And yeah. This is the book. So basically it's a ransom book. They want a shulker box full of potatoes, half baked, <laughs> and half of them just potatoes, apparently. And I leave them at the bandit shop. Alright, so I have a sneaky plan maybe, but we do have a button there. But my sneaky plan is that we do as the book says, and we collect the potatoes and put them in the bandit shop, and then we put a security camera there. That we'll survey the area and see if anyone is coming there and collect it. But, apparently, we have a button there. So, I think I should press that and see what happens. I have no idea. Alright, that was a bit anticlimactic, I think. Oh, yeah, I can sit on it. Can we remove that head? Thank you, can we? Hmm, alright. Nothing happened. That is a bit concerning. Let's let's take a quick nap there. Thank you very much. And why why is there a button there? Is there any other buttons anywhere? No? That's my first sheep said. That's really nice. Hmm. That behind that wall is our yeah, lean on. Lean to. That's the word. Lean to. And it just goes here. So there's nothing there. This is this is very, very Interesting and confusing. I don't know what's happening here. So, all right. <laughs> have a magic button that doesn't do anything. We have anything there? Um, not really. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. All right. So. Hmm. All right. I think we should follow these heads. Maybe. Can we get that one, please? All right, so let's go through and see what's on the other side. <laughs> All right, so we have... We are in the nether, so let's go over to sp the spawn portal and see if we have another head over here. It's like, it's like a game, really. This is like a game. I don't know. No more heads. Oh, wait. I know that Phipps actually lives behind my portal. So if we continue this way, we should get to close to Phipps' place. I don't know if he's connected his base yet to the to the nether hub, really. But this could be interesting. Doesn't look like it, though. Doesn't look like it at all. Oh, I'm a bit concerned now. I don't like the nether. The nether is scary. And dangerous, hostile, and just a bad place. I lost my life here, and a shulker of stems, which was which was a bit uh, sad, mindly, mindly. All right, no more heads. Okay, so hmm, let me have a think about this. All right, so maybe we have something over here that can. Shed some light on the situation. We do have a new tunnel here that goes diagonally. So the question is, does this lead over to Phipps place? I think it might do actually, or maybe not. All right, that was that was a bummer. Hmm. All right, let's get let's get back home. All right. So we change out all the carrots for potatoes because I don't have enough potatoes to. Pay the ransom? Well, I say pay the ransom, you know, set my trap, really. So, I will wait for these to grow up, and oh, hello, piggy! Hello, piggy, do you want a potato? No, 
you will not get a potato. I know you're cute, but no potatoes for you. I will need them for my little plan here. So, yeah, let's wait here for a bit and see the potatoes grow. And, well, yeah, fun, right? Waiting for potatoes. But that's what we have to do right now. So, see you in a bit. We are almost there now. Just a little, little bit more than we have to cook half of it. That's interesting. But whilst we've been waiting for the potato to grow, I actually done some work as well here and replenished our supplies of repeaters and comparators and observers as well. So, yeah, the rest of the build should go smoothly. I hope. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but whilst we're waiting for the last pieces of potatoes, I would like to tell you about the next upcoming stream day we are having here on the Ludic SMP. And I will put the little picture thing in my jig on screen right now, and you can see the times. And this will be the 2nd of April, so the upcoming Saturday, but stream day. <laughs> and I hope to see you all there. All right, so let's see now. Let's get some more potatoes and let's get them cooked. Finally, there we go. And let's cook half of it. I can't exactly cook exactly half, but close half as I can. And let's see now in there. And let's just flick the lever and off it goes. And we will soon have a lot of baked potatoes. Nice. And whilst that are smelting away, we can actually go down to the root cellar and collect some more honey and honeycomb actually and to restock our shop. I haven't been there in a week and I don't know if I've sold anything, but I mean, it's it's worth <laughs> to check out even when we're there, right? So let's see now. I have been some doing, I have been some, I have done some AFKing over here whilst waiting for the potatoes to grow. So we should have some honey there yes we do have some honey blocks that's really really nice we can take those and let's see the honey comb blocks we have some of those as well not that many though that's too bad but we have enough probably and let's take some slime as well we have a few stacks of those we can use we have a lot of slime actually oh man again this farm is very small but it produces do this quite well so let's pack that in as well and go back and get the potatoes and go over to the shopping district all right so let's place our little ransom then somewhere yeah i don't know maybe amongst the llama here so let's place it in here like that and that is now the ransom for my beacons that would be nice to get back and i would place a camera hmm where is a good place to place a camera maybe up there maybe may, yeah maybe up there let's take a little light up that, that, that's a nice view all right that should be good right yeah i think that would be good from here i can see the entire shop and some of time and the portal as well this will be a good spot all right it's placed there i will place the camera shortly and let's take a quick look around here and let's see any new shops here i don't know yeah wait a minute there is something i think we had some signs here as well so let's see now uh interior shop is open don't miss it all right inventory shop inventory shop what's that all right <laughs> organic sand organic sand <laughs> <laughs> all right let's take a pick, quick peek and see what we have down here oh oh this is nice new prices okay 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 this is nice okay finn's interior shop need an interior let me know i will help for some shinies nice oh this is nice this is really nice hmm i might actually take some advantage of this what's the what's the price Hmm. Yeah, bigger projects from three diamonds blocks upward. Okay. Nice. Okay. We will do some ordering there later. And then we have the sand shop. Sand. All right. I believe this is FIPS. <laughs> okay. Six stacks of sand equal one diamond. Okay. And it looks like he's out of stock. FIPS. Oops, you need to restock, mate. All right, let's see our shop, actually. Have we, have we been making any sales? 
<laughs> I mean, I can't lie really here, right? So I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. We had no sales whatsoever. No sales at all. Is my prices too high? I don't think so. I don't think I'm, I'm too expensive. We can fill up this box though. Not that much, but we can fill it up. But that's a bit sad. I mean, come on now. Slime blocks. There we go. Okay. So why why ain't people buying this stuff come on ludic members you need slimes you know it get over here and buy your slimes and honey and and honey blocks and all that fun stuff over here come on now oh man so there we have it adders categorizer it's built it's done it's <laughs> it's it's big <laughs> I can tell you that it's big and I did a couple of boo-boos whilst building this. I placed a couple of hoppers wrong so it didn't work. I forgot to put the competitors in subtract mode so that didn't work. And I forgot to put some torch. Yeah, I forgot a couple of things whilst building it. I had to re-watch re the tutorial a couple of times. But, I mean, no fault of the tutorial. It was me just being a bit mm, careless. There we have it. Careless, that's a good word. So, it's complete. All I need to do now is to, uh, well, hook this up. This is the on and off switch for everything. So I need to, well, I can't have it here. So move it somewhere in front, obviously. And yeah, make it look a bit prettier. Well, I'll say prettier, I'll say pretty actually. But the big thing I need to do again is to decide what goes where. And we all know playing Minecraft that that could be a task sometimes and decisions has to be made and that's a bit annoying sometimes but anyway so in here we have all the well blocker items right now this will be replaced with the items we want sorted so for example I tested out some glass here it works perfectly now when I fixed everything so yeah what goes where and then the last one here is the overflow everything bulk will go in there like unknown stackables and stuff like that so yeah decorating it and put some other well bells and whistles on it to see how it works move the lever and do something about the input system there as well so i will do that and i will see you later all right i think we have something here i'm not sure but i think i'm happy with it it needs some more details though something more but i can't really put my finger on what but anyway here we have it the big bulk or say bulk the big item categorizer right there and i also added a couple of chests on the other side they are not hooked up to any system so they are manual for now but i do think i want to actually hook them out up to a standard item sorter like i have over at the mob farm because for dirt and stone and sand and all those stuff that would be really really nice to have actually because that i think that would be a bit weird to have it in here but maybe 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 and also another really stupid <laughs> stupid idea i have <laughs> is to hook this up this is the input chest right there and to hook this up to a shulker box unloader as well so it probably goes down unload shulker boxes and then it goes up again gets sorted everything and into these chests as well uh, i don't know if that's a good idea or not but first try now anyway i have some random stuff there so let's put that in and I moved the lever over here instead. So let's flick that. And everything should start kicking in. And there we go. The light starts flashing. That means the sorter is sorting. So we'll have to wait for a couple of, well, minutes, seconds before the items start to drop into this chest. Oh, there it starts going there. Yeah, some stuff still that like, gets left in the system. So, But I mean, that's not a real big deal. That's a, not a big deal at all. So... This will sort through and see you when it's done. It actually is quite a nice light show here. <laughs> of course, I haven't put anything into the filter chest just yet because that will take some, <laughs> yeah, some planning, really. Uh, so these are still just blocked by but everything. I have glass somewhere still, I believe. I am not sure. I do think. There we go. Yeah, some glass there still. And the items are starting to get filtered through here. Yeah, so we still need maybe a stack of moss. Well, half a stack of moss. And yeah, then it should be done. 
And there we go. So, mm, little less than half a stack of items get stuck in the system waiting for the next batch of items to go through, but that's not a problem at all. So, this is it then. Oh man. Hmm. I will give full credit to my wife <laughs> for the design choice here with the copper. And the floor. I am very, very happy with the floor actually. It's a uh, smooth basalt and polished basalt in that grid pattern then and then some copper trimming just to match the ceiling there as well so i think it turned out really nice but that is all i have time for in this episode sadly there's a lot of things i want to do still well the furnace there over there it needs to get, get bigger and <laughs> get gooder <laughs> but if you enjoyed this episode consider leaving a like and thank you for watching and I see you all in the next one. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.